Here we have a Wheatstone bridge before us, and uh, we have an unknown resistor Rx down here uh, that uh, we've placed in the bridge. Uh, and in order to get this uh, detector in the center to read zero, we've had to adjust R3 to a value of 100 ohms. The value of R1 is 10 ohms. The value of R2 is 15 ohms, as specified here. And the source voltage is 10 volts. So the question is, what is the value of Rx? Well, we have a standard bridge before us, and we see that there, from a bridge, there are two voltage dividers, one on one side, one on the other. And the important point here is that the current through the detector is 0 amps and the current into the other side of the bridge is zero amps. And so therefore these two uh, branches are in fact independent of each other and therefore they become voltage dividers on their own. And so we find the uh, voltage, uh, uh, before we do that we're going to suggest that this becomes a reference point and this node down here being that reference point the voltage at A is measured with respect to that reference point. And so we find that the voltage across the detector, so the detector voltage, is equal to zero, which is equal to VA minus VB. Now VA is the voltage at A with respect to the reference. Voltage at B is the voltage VB with respect to this reference. And so we can write these down, and this becomes our voltage divider on the A side is R3, because we're looking at this voltage, is R3 divided by R1 plus R3, all multiplied by Vs, minus, on the other side, we have Rx divided by R2 plus Rx, all multiplied by Vs. And that, of course, is equal to zero. Move that up a little bit. So we have R3 over R1 plus R3 is equal to Rx over R2 plus Rx. The ratios of the lower resistor to the total branch resistance on both sides of the bridge is exactly the same. Let's put the numbers in there. We have 100 divided by 110 is equal to Rx over 15 plus Rx. All right, so we uh, quickly uh, solve that. We find that 100, uh, 110 Rx is equal to 1500 plus 100 Rx. And we find that Rx is equal to 1500 divided by 10 which is 150 ohms. And so therefore, uh, we have been given an unknown resistor, and we put it into our bridge as the bridge would initially have been uh, at some, some voltage between uh, A and B. We adjusted R3 until that voltage across A and B went to zero. And uh, the value that we found was that R3 was equal to 100 ohms. And so therefore we know that Rx is 150 ohms. Thanks for watching.